In this video, we will learn about the first order differential equations. Primarily, we will understand their basic concept. And then in the subsequent videos, we will try to apply them on various economic situations. So the, the first thing about these equations is that they express an explicit or implicit relationship between the function, for example, y is a function of t, and one or more of its derivatives or differentials. So in this case, we will have a function, and we will have the derivative or differential of it, and that will be related with the uh, function. So in these equations, we are not just talking about one function. We are talking about the function and its relationship with the derivative of, uh, derivative of it or the differential of it. So this is an example of it because you can see the independent variable x in it and you can see the function of the the derivative of the function that is dy over dx that is the original function would be this so you see there is relationship between x and the derivative of the function since we have a first order derivative in it this is why we call it a first order differential equation as we have just mentioned that the highest order derivative involved in this process the first order derivative this is an example of it y bar is equal to f is equal 12 uh, y and y double bar minus 2 y bar plus 19 is equal to 0 is another example however this one is a second order differential equation because it contains a second order derivative as mentioned here so it is dependent upon the order of the derivative that we are dealing with so let's talk about some particulars of the differential equation. In differential equations, we have not just uh, the degree, rather order as well. So we can extract two features from a differential equation. One is the, its order and the other one is its degree. You can see that we have written an example of a differential equation. And uh, we can also write it like this because writing it like this enables us to know the degree of the equation. Firstly, we focus on the derivative term. It is having the first order derivative. This is why the order of this differential equation is first. That is the first order differential equation. However, just like an algebraic equation, we can also determine the degree of the differential equation. And for that, we just check the power of the uh, derivative, the highest order derivative. In this case, it was the only derivative. So we just need to look the overall power of it and it is 1 as nothing is mentioned it means that it is equal to 1 so it is the first order derivative uh, which is involved and its power is 1 so we call it first degree equation so we call it on the whole a first order differential equation with first degree let's take some other examples to understand this thing there uh, uh, here we have another um, differential equation and the highest order derivative is the first order so we uh, can say that this is the first order differential equation however the power of it is 4 it means that the degree is fourth degree so this is a first order differential equation with fourth degree another example is here in in this example there are two differential terms and we just need to check the uh, order of the given functions um, and derivatives so the first order derivative is found here and here there is second order derivative so we focus on the highest order derivative which is the second order derivative so it is a second order differential equation now it comes the question of its uh, degree and uh, for degree again we focus on the highest order derivative which is this one so we focus on the power of it and its power is 1 so it is the first order first degree uh, differential equation uh, here the power of the first order derivative was 3 we didn't choose it why because it was the um, lower order of the derivative present in the differential equation here we have a second order diff derivative in the given equation already so this is the 
differential equation another example of it here we can see the highest order derivative is the third order derivative so we call it the third order derivative and we need to focus on the power of the same term that is the third order derivative it has a power of 5 so it is a fifth degree uh, equation however we sh don't we shouldn't focus on the power uh, which is the power of the other derivative term because uh, second order derivative is not the highest order derivative present in the differential equation so this would be a third order differential equation with fifth degree so you can see that it's um, a quite it's quite an elaborated name and this tells us quite a bit about the differential equation now we should focus on the standard form of the first order differential equation it can be uh, based on a function that is y is a function of x or t in this case we are focusing on uh, the situation where t is the independent variable so on the basis of it we get this standard form in which primarily we have a derivative term then there is a function in terms of t then there is variable y which is the dependent variable and then there is uh, another term containing t so these lines also explain the same thing uh, wt and ut what are these and this is the derivative term so wt and ut are given here and uh, we can assume just for the sake of uh, uh, you know a simple beginning of the uh, differential equations that ut is a function uh, is a constant as well as u wt both of them are constants so if they are constants it means that we can uh, put their values here you can see in, instead of uh, ut we have written a and instead of wt we have written b so this has transformed the overall form into this which is a simplified version in which the coefficient is constant in nature as well as the term present on the right hand side is also constant so this is the first order differential equation in its standard form and here there is a constant coefficient as well as there is a constant term so in this case we have the very basic case of the first order differential equation so in the next video we will learn about various cases of the first order differential equation so that we could be able to develop their formulas to solve them thank you